story time on this incident at school. So, by the way, this is my first ever story time. So, basically, um, back in fourth grade, uh, there used to be, like, this kid. Let's just call him... Hmm. Hmm. What do we call him? Uh, Jerry. Okay, let's just call him Jerry. So, this is a true story, by the way. I usually make up story times, but I don't. This is a true instance. This is so angry. I'm so angry at him. So, basically, um, back in fourth grade, there used to be this kid. Let's just call him Jerry. And he was mean. He was a class clown, and he was also really, really mean to everyone. Like, he was so mean. But everyone never been mean to him since his mom was, like, a big donor. So, yeah, she was, like, a big member of the school, and he came, he was, like, he stayed at this, this same school all the way from pre-K. So, his mom was also a big donor, and she, like, volunteered a lot, and she gave snacks to the teachers, and she was really nice. I loved her mom a lot. She was, like, really nice to everyone, except for Jerry. So, basically, Jerry had, like, tons of friends, and they were all guys since... Jerry's a guy, and guys make black guy friends. So, um, basically, what happened next was, like, really, like, bad. He started, like, bullying everyone at school. He started bullying everyone in the grade, and he was, like, making fun of everyone. He was also, he was also making fun of my friends, which was, like, really mean. And every time we tried to stand up for them, he always, like, threw in one of those, like, Roblox, like, roasts. He learned from those Roblox story times, compilations. He he would always throw them in so that no one could talk back to him. He hated people talking back to him. Like, when when he didn't have any words to say, he would literally hate them. So, yeah. And he liked to beat up his friends as well. But, yeah. So, basically, let's just get to the point of the story. So, basically, um, one day, when we were, like, having, like, uh, this school class thingy it was like on these lunch card thingies like we were going to lunch and this kid we were doing lunch cards and he um he got his lunch card and i got mine and basically what happened next was that i saw this like guy and i was like oh here's your lunch card and he was like oh thanks and then and then um my friend my friends and I were walking to the lunch line, and I saw Jerry looking at me with a weird look, like, with a mad look. But, yeah, he was having a smirk on his face, and a really mean look. You know those look that bullies make? And, yeah, so basically, um, what he did was that he literally, when we came back, and it was almost like P.E. time. He told me that I w- he was going to tell on me since I was being racist to that guy that I gave the lunch card to. I said, why? Why was I being racist? Does, does it mean that giving a lunch card to a kid means being racist? How is that racist? I'm only giving him a lunch card. And he was saying I was making fun of him. So I was like, no. And I thought he was just, he didn't mean it since he always didn't mean it. He always like actually like made up things but didn't actually do it. He always did that to me and my friends. But this time he was true. He came to the teacher in front of the whole class. Wow, you really had the nerve to do it in front of the whole class instead of in private, huh? And basically he came up to everyone in front of the teacher. And he was like, um, Miss, uh... Let's just call her Miss Jules. Miss Jules, Jessica was being racist to um, this kid. And I was like, what? I was like, that's literally ridiculous. Why was I being racist to him? I was not. There's literally no way. And he was like, yes, she was. I was like, you have literally no proof. And then he kept on like saying that I did. I wasn't. I seriously wasn't. I'm literally about to cry. And, like, he was, like, she was, like, being so racist, and she almost tore apart his lunch card. What? And I told my friends, I was, like, hey, guys, 
right I, I I wouldn't be racist, right? And my friends were like, Yeah, she wasn't. And the guy that even took the lunch card, he was like, Yeah, she wasn't even being mean to me. Why are you being so rude? And yeah, I was like, Yeah. And everyone was agreeing with me. Except for that kid and his friends. So then the teacher was like, I do not know who to believe, but just go to PE. And I was like so mad. Like I need your revenge on him. And I went to the PE teacher, and the PE teacher asked me what happened, since I was making a very sad face. And, and and I was like, well, Jerry, he was like being really mean, and he wrongly accused me, he falsely accused me of saying, of being racist to a kid, when I even wasn't even being racist. Like, I wasn't. So, um, the PE teacher was like, well, I don't know what to do. I'm not your teacher. You should go speak to your teacher. And I was like, well, the teacher said she doesn't know who to believe. And then, in the end, I was a person who got said. I was a person who got said by the teacher. Instead of Jerry. I was a person. I was a person. The teacher believed him. Seriously. I don't even know why. So, yeah. Maybe because he gave more false proof. And I was the one who got said. And I got a ticket to send home. To send home. Okay. So that made me really mad that he did that. And yeah, that's literally like basically the end of the story. And yeah. So the moral of the story is never hand a kid his or her lunch card ever again. Or else another kid might just suddenly pop up and say that you was being you were being racist or something. Or like terminating or something which you weren't so yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and i literally will never forget him forgive him and i will never forgive him like this was like the worst day of my life and he also had the he also had like this feeling to do it in front of like the whole class while you do it in front in private like why huh why huh huh and yeah guys so i basically so I basically wish that I did something more smart than just like sitting there and doing nothing. Cause I literally didn't deserve that. I got notes sent home and I got grounded. I got grounded. Only because I didn't do anything. And yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Bye.